Greetings friends. Welcome to Jeb Adams channel. Thank you for viewing and subscribing and I hope that you do return again. Hi there friends, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jeb Adams and I'm sitting here with the motor from a Singer 306K. And I have to adjust my light here. Maybe we could use that light a little more. No, I guess I'm stuck with this one. But anyway, you can see the details there. I can't. Uh, I'm looking through the viewfinder or the, the back panel on my on my display there. So what, what I'm going to do, this is going to be a short video to start uh, about getting the brushes back in and getting this put back together to be ready to to go on the on the machine or whatever. I do already have some other clips that I've been taking the last few days this past week or so. So I'm sure if you've been here once or twice before you notice that I do edit. I use a lot of clips in building one film. So uh, just realize that there may be parts that seem to, to jump or miss, but hopefully I'll be able to keep it uh, flowing close enough to the on focus that uh, it is all clear and uh, it's all a benefit of some sort. So yeah, anyway, whoopsie daisy. What I had already done was, hmm, that seems a little stiff for not wanting to come out. Why is that? Ah. Oh, there we go. So, there we have what I fondly re recall, uh, referred to as the bottom bearing. Let me move this light over to the viewing area a little more. Let's move these tools out of here. Move this all over here. And then put that back just a bit. I've got light there. Or do I want to have light there? Maybe I'll have it there. Maybe that'll work for us. Seem to be lit pretty good there now. So, like I said, there's those things that I referred to as the as the bottom bearings. And you know what? Maybe I'm getting too dramatic here. Maybe I don't need to go that far. There. There. So we got a good view there. And a good view there. And I know that's not, bottom bearings is not their proper technical term. But uh, anyway, they're installed and we'll get this put in place right now. Now which way did I want? Okay, yes. This is the way I want it. How do we tell? Because these wires have to come out through here. So that end goes on there. And then these wires are snugged up out of the way. This thing here, it fits into that little stud there, that little riveted stud in there. And uh, there's my shim which is the bane of me. I don't even know what that word means. I'll have to look that one up. 
and fair enough. Now we have our two leads that go to the motor. Why is this basic simple electricity? Because there is no ground wire. I've been led to to understand, to accept, to believe. I still got you guys in focus. See, I get watch, watch and I don't watch through the camera, and then I sometimes don't realize that, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, right now we're good. In ya. Okay. So we see the commutator right there, right? So we see the curve is like a circle. It's part of a circle. That scratched my head. I mopped my damp brow. So I have to make sure that the brush aligns with the curvature on there. And that will, if it's like that, and then I have to have the the split there so we can see the the length of the brush and the, and the spring. All right? And then this contact goes in position down there. Once I get a handle on it. And the key thing here is as you're manipulating that, do not break the solder on the wire. So now I need to How am I doing here again? Yeah, so it's got to be like that. And then that has to go like that. I'm going to push it down. And it's kind of locked in. And then I get the cover. And the little screw. Did I miss something here? Well, we'll see in a minute. I think I may have missed a step. No, maybe not. Yep, I'm missing one there, so... Now I have to undo that long one again.
And then same thing on the other side. Okay, so we're back on business on this side now. Let me move that lamp down a bit. And without breaking the solder, Excuse me. Well, let's see if we can set that in there. Like that. And we can see the commutator down there. So we want to have that aspect on the, on the brush. Like that. So, now that we've established that, we take the slotted face of the brush tube, And we'll get that in position. Let me check that one. Let me check it again. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Yes, indeed. So, where is the other double-ended nut there? It goes in there. That one goes there. That one goes there. And there, it's seated. Why? Let me loosen this one. There, that's seated. There we have it. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of business. Thank you for viewing. Please subscribe and uh, take care of yourselves. Have fun with your machines and your sewing and your crafts. And uh, we'll talk again real soon. Adios amigos.